not much planned today. I was hoping to go out for a walk um, or a quick run. Uh, usually around this time, my body feels the need to try a run. So I did run a couple times in the last week. Uh, not for very long because I need to build my stamina back up again because of what I've gone through <laughs> my whole body. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was nice outside when I did that. But uh, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I should go for a run because as you can see, it's very nice and sunny outside. I checked the weather, it's negative 10 degrees and it has a wind chill, so it probably feels more like negative 14. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't like running when it's frigid because it hurts the lungs. So I'm going to skip it. But yeah, um, I did miss my running, so I'm going to try and do it when I can, but not give myself and not make myself stress out too much. So yeah, I just do it purely for enjoyment. I miss the endorphin rush of after the run. What do you call it? A runner's high? Um, yeah, so not much planned today because of the weather. I'm probably just going to hang out here since baby's coming back from his cousins. His routine is all changed up. So we're just going to see how he fares. Maybe he'll just sleep all day. Who knows? Uh, but first, I want to finish his laundry up before he gets back home. I wore these pants, I decided to try them on, and they fit. They are slightly tight, but they were also tight before pregnancy, so... But I still fit them, so that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna continue folding this, and I'll probably vlog again later when I have some time, or when he's taking his nap, if he does take a nap. There's a dead body on the floor. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> respect me now like you respect chip drinking. Alcohol in my mouth, you just got a binky. Oh! oh. oh. Second line, second line. Some chip drinking in okay, okay. Look at him go. Monday, February 26th, about 8.20 at night, and I, had, I was just working on the these raccoons that I drew. I decided to go on a uh, color pencil with them. I'll show you them in the morning when there's more light in here. It's nighttime, so. Anyway, I did these ladybugs. Um, I did ink, Sharpie pen, um, ink, yeah, Sharpie pen, and watercolor, and I think they turned out really great. I feel a bit weird about them like they're really cute and they're just so cute that I feel like it's not me um, they have a similar style to the mushroom um, the mushroom and caterpillar pa paintings that I did a while ago but that one is a bit macabre and this one is just like straight up ladybug cute okay let me show you them I don't know, that's why it's kind of weird to me, but let me see if I can have this camera focus. Oh no, come on, please. I think that's focused. Okay, so this ladybug is painting. They are an artiste. They are an artiste painting. This one's like reading while uh, peeling a, a fruit. Can you focus? sort of yeah you know, i guess right there's the perfect spot this one is just they have their materials and easel a sketchbook and their bag of stuff this one is a frustrated one and does not like their drawing though they ripped it up 
This one is at an art museum or something like that, or a gallery, and they have coffee in hand. Oh wait, this is the actual one that I want. I drew these twice because I did not like how it turned out the first time. Yeah, this is not the one. So this is the one I liked. A little bit more of a round body, and then this one is just drawing. Yeah, I was going to scan these, and then feel like drawing something more scary. <laughs> Good morning. It is 6.32 on March the 9th and I checked my camera and I actually had some footage and some clips that I took so anyway I don't remember when the last time I vlogged was but um, it's 6.30 in the morning I think I just said that. I'm here in front of my computer. I woke up. I decided to wake up early. I could have slept a little bit longer. I just fed my child so I'm awake and usually I go back to sleep but um, I would like to get some stuff ready today because today I am going to have a table I'm going to an event I'll set you up here to chat so I was basically invited to this International Women's Day event and I couldn't say no because that's kind of cool I was invited uh, it's local and um, it's only a two hour event. I don't know how much money I'm going to make in two hours because I've been trying to push live drawings and then that usually takes me, uh, like a two hour event would only give me maybe like four drawings to do if people did want drawings. But anyway, I'm deciding to advertise that but I'm also, I pulled up my con luggage and I don't really have anything new. I cut up more like bakery stickers, more witchy stickers and stuff. Um, that's what I have. And so I'm just going in with stuff I already have, like my sticker books and my sugar books. So we'll see how it goes. It's not a very long event. It's only two hours from six to eight. Uh, but yeah, um, so basically my bag is ready. I just need to make sure I have everything in there. Uh, maybe restock on some sticker books again. I don't know what the traffic is gonna be like. It's um, An international women's day event uh, They will have some performances going on. They wanted to have an artisan market. That's exclusively for uh, Women like people selling women selling stuff. So anyway, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try and bring the camera today We'll see how it goes uh, so yeah, I'm here. I want to do my nails. I want to debut the ring that I bought <laughs> that you saw in the last vlog. So I wanted to have nice nails. Plus my nails were overdue for a trim anyway because I don't want to be scratching up my face and my kid. So uh, I also have to pluck my eyebrows. And yeah, I'm just going to do like a regular purple polish. I already have this out. I was hoping to do pink, but I don't want to dig out my nail polish, which is in the closet right beside my son's room. I don't want to wake him up. So I have some precious morning time. I assume he's going to be sleeping until about 8 because I just fed him and his usual wake up in the mornings has been 7 in the morning. Uh, just because he goes down to sleep at 7 p.m. So he usually wakes up at around 7 in the morning. But if I, no I notice if I fed him later, then anyway. Let's do our nails and then I I was actually painting last night so what I wanted to do this morning was paint a little bit more like just for myself uh, and then do some last prep stuff like make sure I have my square reader uh, updated and charged charge my camera and then do all these like tiny things like my nails so okay I'm gonna charge this camera while I do my nails and I will talk to you guys later Oh, also, it's um, a little bit exciting, a little bit scary, but this is going to be my first time driving to a con by myself. So I'm pretty excited and also a little bit nervous. I know where the place is. It's just I've never driven there before and it's raining right now. So I hope the rain stops by the time I have to go. It's also Saturday, so traffic shouldn't be bad. I was a little bit worried about the hours because I have to be there by about 5.30 to set up at the latest and that's like rush hour. Um, I try to avoid driving during rush hour because it's not pleasant, but anyway, 
whole new adventure today, so I wanted to vlog. Okay, ignore the stuff on my sweater. We used this sweater for Halloween, so I had felted, I stuck stuff on here with super glue instead of fabric glue because I didn't have fabric glue, but the sweater is still really nice, so I decided to keep it. Maybe these things will come off eventually. Alright, so I cut my nails. I just need to paint them. So my drawing desk is back because I wanted to paint. Um, I had it laid out in um, the what do you call it the inclined position, but I wanted something a bit more flat because I was getting really annoyed with um, like having the paint on my stool. Like my paint would be on my stool because I couldn't put it up on the obviously inclined surface. So it was just kind of annoying. So I just have to do this. And then if I want my painting to be up on upright, I'll probably just use the easel that I use for my Cintiq. Anyway, I was painting this last night and let me talk to you about it if I hold it up. So, I just sketched this without any plans. I just went straight pencil and then I painted it right away. And although I like the idea, I have a background all planned out already, I just messed up her proportions. And I don't think it is because I have it on an angle like this. It's just because I didn't really think about how it's gonna look like. Like her face is it's very cartoony obviously, but it's a bit too skewed that she doesn't look right. I, I can't tell yet. It's like obvious, like her head is humongous and I should have flipped the canvas or something to see how her face looks, but it does not look good. So, and her proportions are off, which is fine because it's just like, it's supposed to be not realistic. So I don't know, I'm still kind of not sure. <laughs> And I wasted so much time on it. I want to redo it, but I also want to push this because I think it could work. So I don't know. Okay, so it's now 12.23 and I'm workshopping some outfit ideas because I want to look a little bit more presentable. Um, yeah, anyway, I got this top a while ago before I got pregnant, but summer ended so I couldn't really use it. So I pulled it out and I thought it would fit really well with these new jeans that I bought. These are advertised as mom jeans because they go high up. Um, my pants still fit me, they're slightly tight. The only thing is I have this extra appendage, this extra like flub here. So that's what makes my older pants tight. So once I lose that a little bit, then maybe I can fit a bit better. Uh, so yeah, I got these mom jeans and they they are so nice. I quite like them. They were $25, so not so bad. And yeah, I think blue matches the blue. And so when we go downstairs, I'll show you the fuller outfit. I got this necklace. The only thing I have to figure out is kind of clip this so the bra doesn't show up. Clip it up. But yeah, it has my pooch. And so that's done. I'm going to do my makeup a little bit later on. Uh, but yeah. Luggage is packed, I gotta bring it downstairs, but I wanted to make sure I had an outfit that wasn't too casual. I've been going really casual nowadays, so yeah, I gotta do my hair too. Obviously, my hair was so long and now it's short, but it's 7 o'clock. I have a market to go to today. I picked these earrings. I don't know if they match this outfit, 
I'm wearing a sweater because it's cold and raining right now, but hopefully that stops because it's an outdoor farmer's market. Um, I don't know. I'm second guessing the earrings, but whatever. Okay, so my bag's packed. I just need to, to go and set up. It starts at 8. It's 7 o'clock, but we're okay. I'm, my boyfriend decided he wanted to come, so I'm waiting for him. He's going to drive me over. So yeah, I'm just waiting for him to get up. I made him coffee. He'll be fine. <laughs> He'll be okay. I'll try and vlog more after or during, but I am pretty excited. The, the weather is really bad. It's gonna be raining the whole day. Um, but I did look at the forecast when I woke up and it said it was gonna stop at some point in the morning. The market is until one o'clock and rain is forecasted until 1 o'clock but hopefully it gets less throughout the morning um, yeah I'm gonna lug my luggage down and get, head out so outfit is very simple because of the rain I didn't really want to go too hard but I'm gonna bring my cat hat because I found it and um, if the weather was nice and if there was actually sun it would have worked out but yeah okay by the way, I want to show you the tripod I'm using. Tripod. My mom got me this. It's humongous. It's perfect, but I'm not going to bring it. I thought about it, but I just have too much stuff. But this is perfect for cons. Look how big this is. It's one of those like fake Stanley mugs. Oh, it's actually fixed now. Like, I needed to uh, put it to charge. Full charge? Full charge, yeah. I think it's because Bow only has two tents, so they put them on the end. my paper in the middle. Should I put the buttons on each end? No. Oh, you gotta get all your stuff up before you... No. 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 Get all the red they don't go up. They don't go up. One gust of wind. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye paper goods. Have a good time in heaven. All done. This is behind the table. It's raining. All right, and in the front. I didn't put up my cubes because of the rain. And everything is curling because of the rain. I taped everything down. So, pretty simple. Anyway, I ha no, I left it at home. What about an umbrella? Would an umbrella help? New postcard.
Oh, no, the floor is wet. So what? I'm going to eat mish. So you mean you can figure out a way to do it? Anyway, it is Sunday, June 30th, about 12.30 in the afternoon. So it's a very, very nice day today compared to yesterday. It was a little chilly this morning, which is quite nice actually. A break from this, it, there was a huge heat wave we had like the last two weeks. So it's really nice right now. It's like, I don't know, 18 degrees, 17 degrees, very nice. Um, yeah, yesterday was horrible weather-wise for the farmer's market. I still had a really good time. My partner came with me and we hung out most of them, like the whole day. Um, and then I didn't film any of this, but my we went down to see our friend for her birthday. And it's also Pride Month and it's the end of June. So the end of Pride celebrations. Today is the Pride Parade, but the last week they've been doing a bunch of just like Pride stuff there. So I was able to catch yesterday. So that was great, um, but I'm not going to the parade, obviously I'm here, but it was really fun yesterday, so I'm pretty tired. Um, I didn't make any money at the market. I made maybe like $10 and maybe a couple more dollars for buttons, probably $15 total for um, for that. It was from 8 a.m. until 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and most of the time I was there it was raining. So foot traffic wasn't bad, but people weren't um like the people didn't dilly dally you know what i mean they went there for the farmer's market to buy some veggies some fruits some flowers and then they were off they didn't really kind of like walk around too much they were having like uh cultural performances so we were right in front of that so that was fun but the the weather was still really not that great so i do have another a table with them in September. I believe it's on the 21st, which is probably a Saturday uh, Because the farmers market happens every Saturday. So I have another appointment with them so that's gonna be hopefully better weather and Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I had to we had to set up the tent. I didn't film the tent my partner and I uh, put it together t uh, He helped me out. So that was really helpful. I'm glad he came with me uh, the email I got did say that we had to set up the tent, but I didn't know. I thought it the organization that was hosting us would set up the tents and then we'd just set up our tables, but I guess we had to set up the whole thing. It wasn't that at all. It wasn't that hard. The tent was very easy to do. It's just the weather made it a little bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, pretty much fine other than the rain, which is really annoying. And what was I gonna say? Yeah, we just hung out. It's it's it was raining, but it wasn't windy, so that was really helpful. Because if it was windy as well, then all my stuff would have gotten totally wet. Everything was really moist though, because it was so humid. So a lot of the stuff was curling. I think I took a couple clips of that. All of my stickers were curling, or all my postcards were curling, and my art book was all like wrinkly and just kind of it was so humid. Anyway, that's the summary of that. Hopefully, the next time I table, I'll make a little bit more money, and I can actually do some cartoons i didn't really want to advertise it too much because it would be so uncomfortable painting in the rain I, I can probably do it but since it's been a while since i tabled i didn't i was i, I need to kind of be in the most you know uh prepared mood so yeah i'm pretty sleepy i'm gonna make myself an iced coffee and then hopefully maybe sit in my studio and kind of figure out what i want to do i have a little bit of time so I want to work on something. What am I going to work on? I kind of want to paint. I have a painting that I haven't finished. I have a lot of unfinished stuff and I'm usually the person who like finishes everything, but I just haven't been able to finish anything lately. I just have so much works in progress. So anyway, coffee and then upstairs we go. I think that's the update for the market it was still pretty fun ow I hear that my bone cracked i finished a jar of pickles and this is my new co iced coffee glass it's it's really it's big i really like it oh by the way uh this shirt i'm wearing is from an artist that i know tiny berserk or nissa i'll link her 
um, Instagram or her website her Instagram probably down below but she made these shirts they're really nice my boyfriend even has one she gave us uh, two for Christmas so yeah it's so cute check out her art okay coffee Ta-da! I forgot to film the pouring of the milk <laughs> oh well. children are playing outside. It's such a nice day. Can you hear me over the ice? More ice. Pretty much can fit a whole tray of ice cubes in this. I do like my iced coffee. I see. I got a coconut flavored Nespresso in here. This, this pickle jar is just so perfect. Mm -mm. Baby monitor. Um, I was gonna go upstairs, but then I thought maybe do a really quick update here because of the lighting, and also um, I don't want to talk upstairs too much while my baby is asleep. He was at his grandma's when I was doing the market, and when we went out for pride stuff yesterday night. So I picked him up this morning and. He fought his nap the whole time. He usually takes a nap around like 10. So 10 is when we get back from grandma's and he would not sleep. Either um, he wanted to play more, which I think he wanted to play more, but also maybe he missed me because he was there for two nights, which is the longest he's been away from us. So uh, yeah, we played a little bit in the couch, like on the couch and then he went to, I put him in the crib and he's asleep and he cried a little bit, but he usually cries before going to sleep so but he did succumb to the sandman but um everything's great with him family is good uh i'm going back to work next month which i'm very afraid of because uh, uh, my mat leave just like went by so quickly i'm not ready to go back and just because of the big routine change we're just getting used to a routine now with him and so I'm going to be going back to work three days a week and I have no idea how it's going to be like so I'm not thinking about it too much right now a couple a lot of people have asked me about if we were gonna put him in daycare so I didn't even think about that in daycare in Ontario is a mess okay I'm not gonna talk too much about baby child stuff but I just wanted to update and say that we are doing good uh, we are alive i've kept him alive for 10 months now he is 10 months old and he's almost a year old it's kind of crazy uh but yeah all good so i just wanted to mention that before we went upstairs into my studio so let's go so we're upstairs now uh, <laughs> i wanted to show you guys something so uh, when i got back from picking up my son he wouldn't sleep so I went to I put him in the stroller and we went for a walk around the neighborhood and there was a garage sale and in the garage sale which I spent quite a bit of time in I think we were there for like I was probably looking around at things for like maybe 30 minutes to 40 minutes and he was just fine he was just chilling um, like it was a nice breeze outside but yeah there was a garage sale and the, there were so many books there's just a lot of stuff there were, they had so many mugs i really wanted to grab a mug but i knew we didn't have any space for mugs so i didn't get any mugs but i found some things here just two things and i got them for like a couple cents honestly so this one i could not resist it looks a bit weird but like this is a fabriano artist journal look how thick it is and Fabriano, I know that name, I use their watercolor paper, but um, I thought, I opened it up and I was like, oh, maybe there's some art in here, like from the previous owner, but there's nothing. It's totally empty, as as is the case. There are rips from like the, the person using this, the artist using this, had ripped the first few pages, which is so funny because that's like what sketchbooks go through. But anyway, so I got this because the paper itself is beautiful really nice texture nice weight also different colors what so i don't think it's watercolor paper necessarily but it is very nice paper um oh i guess they used it for some games here 
one, two, three. Is this is Yahtzee or something. But yeah, I just really like the paper and I thought I could use this for some art journaling thing. I got this for like a couple cents. I bought it with another thing. Uh, and so they, they were like, it's, it's two bucks. So I probably, I don't know, it's very cheap. But I got it because of that. And they had ripped up some paper here too, but I just couldn't resist the paper. Different colors. Fabriano caught my eye. Really cool looking book too. So I got that. Now that I've looked at it a bit more closely, I was just like, hmm. I was just really drawn by the name, I guess, but also the color of the paper. It even has a little tag or bookmark. But yeah, so cool, I thought. I've never seen this before. I probably have, but anyway. And then the other thing I got was this Dark Horse Book of Horror. So there's a bunch of different comic artists here, like Mike Mignola, the Hellboy illustrator and creator, and others. Uh, the thing is, though, it's all, it's all men, except, I guess, Jill, unless Jill Thompson is a man or a male, but all dudes, which made me roll my eyes a little bit, but lots of really nice art, so I thought um, I wanted to read it because it's horror. Look at this. Watercolor. So yeah, I got a this a couple of, for a couple of cents as well. They had a lot of VHSs too, and DVDs, and just like the bugs really caught my eye, but I didn't want to get them because we didn't have any space. But yeah, I'll do this one. I really like the art style of this one. Very clean, very comic, you know, DC style, which I appreciate in like sometimes. Let's see, very, very good line one. Unnecessary. I'm just gonna wake up my boy. Okay, that's what I got. Um, so I've decided to work on this digital comic that I've had um, that has been on hold since I was like eight months pregnant or something. No, maybe like, yeah, eight months. And I just want to finish it because it's only a couple pages. I already know what the story is about. It's very, it's one of those short ones. And it's probably going to be maximum six pages with the title page. So I might as well finish this because I'm struggling to find something to finish. And I just need to sit down and finish it. Uh, my drawing table has a lot of like stuff there. So maybe I'll, I just need to pick one, decide to spend the time on it. And hopefully uh, going back into filming and vlogging will help me get that structure back. I... It just helps me a little bit when I film stuff because I kind of have to decide what I want to film and what I want to edit for the video. So I'm going to pick a comic this week um, and if I get bored of that, I'll try and pick something traditional on my desk. So let's first work on this. So I have page 1 sketched out, I have page 2 sketched out, page 3 sketched out, page 4 is in process, and page 5 is the, is the final page. And then I have to do a title page and that is it. So. So I'm going to work on this. I'm going to watch a YouTube video while I do it. I watch the same people. I haven't really been found anyone new. So, yeah. No, it's not going to hurt you. Don't worry, girl. I am no big deal. Woo! Hey, guys, I'm going to I don't know what time I started, but I'm already bored. I'm on page five. So it's going to be seven pages plus the title page. But I'm already bored of sitting here, which is such a problem. It's because um, my son has been asleep now for... Uh, since he just came back from grandma, he had, didn't really have a good nap. So he's asleep for an, he's been asleep for an hour and 20 minutes, which is not the usual. So I want to like take advantage of the rest of the time that he's asleep probably to like either chill out or do something else but I need to commit I need to commit to at least drawing again um, I haven't been in the studio in a long time I've just every time I've been here I would like sit and I'm like I really want to draw something but then I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to to draw 
So I would sit here and just like use my computer and scroll through Instagram. <laughs> so, I mean, I got some pages done, some sketches done, so I think I want to work more traditionally right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I have to just maybe switch over to that table so I can have my Cintiq here open for when I want to continue working on this uh, comic. It's now 2.24 and my guy just woke up, so I am gonna show you what I finished or what I sketched out. I keep wanting to paint something to finish, so I keep coming up with ideas, so I've been sketching a bunch, but I'll show you something maybe that might work. I drew something scary, but I was like, maybe I should draw something nice just because i don't know i've been chasing things this is so weird i don't know what that was but like uh so something cute another long dog wrapped around this the neck of this like thick lady she used to be a shrek like she had the shrek ears but i was like maybe not because i don't want to cover the dog's mouth yawning but it's like a dog but it has like goat feet and a little tail so anyway i kind of like how this looks but we'll see all right, I gotta pick up the dude. You can hear him cry. <laughs> um. These are uh, quote unquote toys. Since he can sit unassisted now, he joins me when I do chores in the kitchen, so. I need to give him some toys to play with. He just had lunch. So I gotta clean up. And this day is dirty. Should have brushed my hair. I'm gonna head out to do the grocery shopping. I volunteered to do this because I feel like it. Just for a break. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head out. away the dishes sir and then we can go through. Don't go to the stairs again. Mm -hmm. Nah. Don't go to the stairs. Get in trouble. You wanna get in trouble? Hey, hey. I made him an omelet for breakfast and some of my bread to try. He's already tried to strip and there's crumbs everywhere but I'm gonna cut this up. Ugh. I hate that sound of a metal spoon on teeth or fork, just utensils on teeth. No thank you, especially if they're metal. Okay, that's a strip. on it but that's for later we're gonna go for you dropped the spoon dude does it make a cool sound oh yeah <laughs> wanna go walk yeah oh, oh, it's so you go walking 
I'm walking. Yo, you see the egg? You want the egg now? I put my coffee in this um, marmalade jar. It's perfect. Perfect. Got an angle. I went back to that place doing a garage sale and they just left the stuff out in the curb. And I found a bike. It's so cute. It's perfect for this guy. <laughs> it actually had a dinosaur corpse on it, like a... This? Like a dinosaur on it? And I don't think I need that. I found some DVDs too. Already ate a bunch of it. Go. This is it. This is it. Okay, I have no makeup on. And children are playing outside at 8.50 in the morning, which is fine. It's a holiday. It's Canada Day today. Huh. I'm show you the Yeah. Show you the stuff, the DVDs that I got along with that bike, which is perfect for him. Probably when you hit one, which is soon, you can play with the bike. Or practice anyway. Oh, I look so bad. Anyway, so I got these Kill Bill DVDs. One and two. I really like Kill Bill. Um, it's different now when I'm older, but when I was younger, it was like a very monumental movie in my mind because it had anime in it and it was violent and gory and just like... Quentin Tarantino is quite questionable, plus like the whole feet thing. Anyway, but I got Kill Bill 1 and 2, and it looks like it's like good quality as well. That's one. Oh yeah. Um, I got this one, Gran Torino, just as a joke because it was free anyway from my partner. And it looks like it's one of those like bootleg DVDs. <laughs> it was a, yep, okay. That's funny. Oh, just as a joke. And I found... A Mortal Kombat VHS and a Mortal Kombat DVD. It looks such like this is so good quality. Like the packaging or the box isn't even that bad. And oh my gosh, it's just perfect. I, I just really like that for just even a keepsake. And this one, it looks like so it's a DVD, right? But I think this was from Blockbuster or something because it doesn't have the design. And look, it's maybe Netflix from back then. Did you drop your omelet? And then this is a joke too, a Nick Cage VHS of his movie, Eight Millimeters, or Eight Millimeter. Like, ah! And then just his forehead is humongous over here. Why did they decide to fade that up? Anyway, that's what I got at the the stuff that they left at the curb. I saw these for sale and, I, and then they just left it all. So I was like, of course, I'll take it. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. More? All right. I think you're ready for some fruit. Pineapple. Got some pineapple for his fruit. Because he did so well. Here. Good job. Can you eat a little bit more omelet? Might as well eat the whole thing. More food? Here, banana. No, don't grab the camera. <laughs> this is a banana. There you go. I left my concealer at my friend's house, so... Anyway, um, the boy is now asleep for his first nap. And usually at his first nap, it starts around 10 o'clock. Well, we've changed his schedule recently. But his first nap is around 10. And if it's a good day, he will give me about 
two hours and so I like to spend that two hours if I can get it having my breakfast leisurely just chilling out in the quiet my boyfriend is asleep too so it's nice and quiet for me um, and this is like the longest break I usually have is in the morning so I'm gonna take my time make my breakfast and I will do like my drawing studio stuff when it's my break and it's my boyfriend's turn to take over later in the afternoon so I'm gonna enjoy this quiet time with this noisy fridge and my breakfast I don't know if I'm gonna make a second cup of coffee I'll probably wait until the afternoon but yeah I'm just gonna chill make a break maybe some boiled egg so here is my breakfast more like a lunch it's a savory one I put some kale slaw uh, like a slaw of kale and cabbage I think some radishes cucumber goat cheese salt and pepper I put some pumpkin seeds in there and also cranberries that we got from Costco and I'm just waiting on two eggs that I'm boiling right now that I'll crack open and put into here and I'll peel them right away get my beans breakfast slash lunch is served So I just sat down here maybe like 10 minutes ago and I was just working on this sketch from yesterday. I'm starting to like it a little bit more. I'm trying to let go of my um, my doubt on this because it doesn't really tell a story. I like things that tell a story. So that just means um, I would have to make a really like a big more complicated piece but I want to get painting i want to start painting right away so i'm just going to sit on this a little bit i added a nose ring i added some flowers around her hair reworked the the hand placement for this um dog sheep thing that's wrapped around her her neck and yeah so i'm just gonna keep digging the guy is awake so i'm gonna go get him but yeah that's what i got It's Tuesday, July 2nd, 11.15, 11.14, and um, I've just been, oops, drawing here. So I decided to refine the sketch of this into this. Uh, this is how far I've gotten. The boy has woken up. I was working on a few little sketches on my sketchbook. So I drew this first. I just, uh, I'm just trying to play around with how I'm drawing my hair because I cut it. So yeah, uh, this this one and this one with the boy yanking my lip there and this is him as a bat because his hair right now he has kind of like a Dracula widow's peak the way his hair is growing it's pointy down the forehead so we call him Dracul or Dracula uh, so I drew him as a bat and then he had, he's holding a little block you know he has a wooden like a bunch of wooden blocks that he got from his grandma and he loves them um, that's Kevin and this is another one with his uh, like little toy that he sleeps with in his crib. It's like a little dino. And then this is him again as a bat with a diaper on. I thought it was so cute. <laughs> so yeah, drawing those. Uh, but I gotta go pick him up now. 
and just maybe he'll have some lunch. It's only 11. He had breakfast, but we'll see what we do. Okay, that's what I did. It is now the next day, Wednesday, July the 3rd. I'm sorry if you can hear my camera going, uh, my, my fan going on the side here, but um, I'm gonna start editing my vlog today because I know I'm gonna have a busy next couple of days. The weekend is gonna be busy. We are booked, fully booked Saturday and Sunday. We're visiting some friends and some friends are coming over. And so I just wanna get it started before it gets really busy. Um, hopefully, it'll be okay vlog content wise i wanted to try this week to pick up the camera and vlog as much as i can whether it be art content or live content so i don't know what the quality of the vlogs are going to be for the next couple of days i'm just uh, for the next couple of vlogs i'm aiming to upload a vlog every week instead of fridays they're going to be on saturdays just because i think that might work out more for my schedule it's a work in progress I'm trying to get back into some sort of like regular schedule with um, my art stuff outside of the baby stuff. I have enjoyed my time with baby and I'm continuing to enjoy my time with baby but I want to balance now stuff like my art because I really miss doing it. So the goal is to have a vlog every week uploaded on Saturdays. They're not going to be um, the best quality. They're not going to be long even though i want them to be like an hour like i used to do before because yeah um but yeah it's gonna be on saturdays i'm gonna start editing now we'll see how it goes and if i vlog any more content after this i'll see you guys later but for now i'm gonna start the edit oh i guess i should show you what the progress is because i sat down to work on this before i started filming plus my camera's dying so let's let's hurry this up uh, so this is the second sketch that i was working on the day before from this i still have to add her little like flower braid crown here but i was thinking of adding another dog or another dog dragon head on the other side because uh, it's like the composition is a little bit too uh to suede this way or skewed this way and I was thinking like what am I going to put here like it's going to be a background maybe I'll just add another dog head with like um, either a snarling dog head or the dog is uh, has a leash around its mouth so yeah that's the progress and my camera's dying so I'll check back later editing the vlog with a snack I picked a really good one and it was on sale I bought this watermelon for two dollars and eighty-eight cents plus tax, that's pretty cheap for a watermelon, I think. Close the door. It's now three o'clock, and I think I am going to end the vlog here. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one next Saturday, unless I decide to change the schedule up again. But um look forward to vlogs like these kind of like a mix of things the first few clips in this vlog were taken like months ago but i decided to add them anyway just because why not sorry they're just me making breakfasts all the time yeah morning is when um routine is very stable and towards the end of the day it gets a little bit you know unpredictable but yeah thank you guys so much again for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one wish me luck trying to film vlogs and do some art get it back into my you know life so yeah okay have a good weekend good day good night and i'll see you next time bye